Hi, this is Robert Smith. I'm here answering questions for you guys. Madison says, can you help me write an affirmation? I've been working with affirmations for a bit now, and they've been working fairly well for me. I repeat them often. I write them 20 times a day and visualize for at least two to five minutes a day. Can you help me with two things? First, I need help writing an affirmation. I've been trying to lose weight, and I want my behind to stay the same size. I can't think of a good affirmation to say. Second, I've been trying to grow my hair like a certain person. I say I have long hair, natural, thick, curly, just like so-and-so. It seems to be working, but, there, but is there any way to make it work faster? Thank you in advance, Madison. Well, this is a very interesting question for sure. Affirmations. What are affirmations, really? Affirmations are anything you affirm. So that means, do you need to write them down to affirm them? No. Do you need to say them to affirm them? No. What are affirmations? Anything you affirm. Now, there's five basic ways that we affirm affirmations. Basically, we visually affirm it. That means we see something, we visualize it, we practice it, we see it in our mind, and we visualize it. Another way of affirming is um, saying things, saying negative things is an affirmation, saying positive thing is an affirmation, um, Feelings, emotions by themselves, just like a feeling you repeat over and over again in of itself is an affirmation. It doesn't have to be positive, and it could be just as equally positive as if it was negative. So there is to the unconscious no negative. It just produces from its internal workings. All right, now there's, there is, um, like you have something about you want to have a smaller behind, all right? Rear. I want to stay the same. And it also deals with losing weight, to lose weight. Now, you know, you can do affirmations and you can do the visualizations and you can, you can create uh, a smaller waist and a smaller parts of your body. But I think another thing about affirmations is understanding what are affirmations. And that means like eating food is an affirmation. There's a kinesthetic affirmation. There's a taste affirmation. There's a smell affirmation. And so one of the things I always say, in order to make your affirmations really work, find a way to get rid of the resistance from letting it work. Because see, if you've been programmed your entire life that, that food equals love, food is sacred, food makes you feel peaceful, makes you connected with people, and all these connections with food, those are all affirmations too. And having a smaller body is a novel thing. But what if everybody in your family is big? What if the whole culture is big and it's normal to overeat? So you're going to have to change what I would call the resistance to an affirmation. I say make it easy, cut out all the parts that keeps you from having it and you don't have to work at having it because you're being it. So one of the things I would do is look at your food your automatic eating programs, the emotions you get from eating food, the connections with people with eating food, and take the sacredness out of food and let food be food. And then affirm your size, your weight, and visualize it. See yourself pushing food away. Food is not important. It only is to maintain health and life. There's no love in it. Let food be food. This will easily keep your waist, waist smaller. Another thing is, um, Wanting your hair to be like someone else. Now, there's nothing wrong with that unless your hair isn't like someone else. That means if you have the same type of hair, it's okay to have the same hair. But here's the problem. What's wrong with your hair? What judgments you have against your hair? Why don't you like your hair as it is? Then you can work and accept your body, accept your hair, accept yourself as it is, love it as it is, and no matter what your hair looks like, you're happy because you accept you. Affirmations we do all the time. If you're looking in the mirror and you see the hair that isn't like someone else's, you could be judging your hair and may not ever say a word. That's an affirmation. So affirmations are more than just written words. Affirmations are feelings and emotions you consistently repeat. Affirmations are memories and pictures that you make up in your head. It's visualization. It's the memories of torment you watch. It's the judgments, it's the taste, it's the smells. All these mixed together are affirmations. 
So don't limit your one affirmation style of written or visual, kinesthetic, taste and smell. Do them all. Clean out the resistance and it's easy to get who you are because you're being. So clean out what you, the resistance is, affirming who you are as you are because the law of attraction is what you have in mind you attract, not what you're trying to put in. Change what you have in and you'll get what you have within. That's an affirmation. I hope that makes sense. This is Robert Smith here at Skills of Change Institute teaching you how to get control of your life, use your mind to create a better world. So keep tapping on yourself. Peace.